The United States conducted a significant number of nuclear weapons tests between 1945 and 1992 as part of the nuclear arms race. In total, there were approximately 1,054 official nuclear tests, including 216 atmospheric, underwater and space tests. The first test, known as the Trinity Test, took place on July 16, 1945, as part of the Manhattan Project, in which Julius Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, played a crucial role. This test had a yield of 25 kilotons of TNT. While the Trinity test was the first, subsequent tests conducted by the United States surpassed its yield. Here are the 10 largest nuclear weapons tests conducted by the United States based on their explosive yield. Number 10. Tewa Tewa was a code name for a nuclear test conducted on July 20, 1956, as part of Operation Red Wing. Red Wing a series of 17 nuclear test detonations carried out by the United States from May to July 1956. The Tewa test took place at Yurochi, also known as Iryoch, within the Bikini Atoll. It was the largest explosion conducted under Operation Red Wing and had a yield of 5 megatons of TNT. The test was part of the United States' efforts to develop and enhance its nuclear weapons capabilities during the Cold War era. Number 9. Castle Union Castle Union was the name given to a test within Operation Castle, a series of United States nuclear tests. This was among the first thermonuclear bombs deployed by the US military. Conducted on April 26, 1954, the test took place on a barge positioned in the lagoon of Yuruchi Island, located at the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The Castle Union test yielded approximately 6.9 megatons of TNT. The detonation left behind a crater on the lagoon floor was measured 3,000 feet or 910 meters in diameter and had a depth of 90 feet or 27 meters. Number 8. The Bighorn Bighorn was a test conducted as part of the Operation Dominic, a series of 31 nuclear test explosions carried out by the United States in 1962. Bighorn, which occurred on June 27, 1962, was the second largest explosion within Operation Dominic. The Bighorn test yielded approximately 7.7 .7 tons of TNT, making it a significant event during the operation. It contributed to the overall cumulative yield of the series. Operation Dominic was an extensive nuclear testing campaign aimed at testing various nuclear weapons, designs, and evaluating their effectiveness. Number 7. Oak Oak was a test conducted as a part of the Operation Hardtack 1, a series of 35 nuclear tests carried out by the United States from April 28 to August 18, 1958. Oak was one of the largest detonations during the operation and took place on June 29, 1958, at Anuatok Atoll. The Oak test involved detonating a nuclear device on a barge that was anchored on the reef approximately 21,000 feet or 6.4 kilometers southwest of Bokulu Island. The initial height of the resulting cloud was estimated to be 78,000 feet or 23.8 kilometers. The yield of the Oak test was estimated to be within the range of 8.9 megatons of TNT. At number 6, the Poplar. This was a code name for the test conducted as a part of the Operation Hardtack 1, a series of nuclear tests carried out by the United States. It took place on July 12, 1958, on a barge located southwest of Nam at Bikini Atoll. During the Poplar test, the detonation cloud rapidly ascended beyond the tracking radar's upper limit of 61,000 feet or 18.6 kilometers. The base of the cloud was measured to be at 42,000 feet or 12.8 kilometers, and the estimated yield range of the test was approximately 9.3 megatons of TNT. At number 5, the Hughes Atonic. Hughes Atonic was a test conducted as part of Operation Dominic, a series of 31 nuclear test explosions carried out by the United States in 1962. Operation Dominic was organized swiftly in response to the Soviet Union's resumption of nuclear testing after a tacit test moratorium from 1958 to 1961. The Hughes Atonic test occurred on October 30, 1962, and it is considered the largest explosion with Operation Dominic. The test yielded an estimated 9.96 megatons of TNT. 
The test involved the use of freefall bombs dropped from B-52 bomber aircraft. At number 4, Ivy Mike Ivy Mike was the code name given to the initial successful test of a thermonuclear or hydrogen bomb by the United States. It occurred on November 1, 1952, at Anuatok Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. The test had an estimated yield of 10.4 megatons of TNT, ranking it among the most powerful nuclear explosions ever conducted. Ivy Mike employed a fusion fuel consisting of deuterium and tritium, representing the first practical demonstration of a fusion reaction. This test signified a significant advancement in the development of thermonuclear weaponry. Number 3. Castle Romeo Castle Romeo was a test conducted as a part of Operation Castle series of U.S. nuclear tests. It marked the first deployment of the TX-17 thermonuclear weapon, which was the first deployed thermonuclear bomb. The test took place on March 26, 1954 at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Unlike previous tests, it was detonated on a barge that was positioned within the crater left by the Castle Bravo test. Similar to the Castle Bravo test, Castle Romeo exceeded its predicted yield. Although it was expected to yield 4 megatons of TNT, it ultimately produced a yield of 11 megatons of TNT. This made it the third largest test ever conducted by the United States. At number 2, Castle Yankee this was the code name given to one of the tests in the Operation Castle series of American tests of thermonuclear bombs. The test occurred on May 5, 1954 at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It was executed on a barge positioned within the crater formed by the Castle Union test. The predicted yield for Castle Yankee ranged from 6 to 10 megatons, but it actually yielded 13.5 megatons of TNT. This made it the second largest yield ever recorded in a U.S. fusion weapon test. Similar to Mike, Bravo and Romeo tests, a significant portion of the yield was attributed to fast fusion of the natural uranium tamper. Number 1. Castle Bravo This was the first in a series of high-yield thermonuclear weapon design tests conducted by the United States at Marshall Islands as part of the Operation Castle conducted on March 1, 1954. It is widely regarded as one of the most notorious and significant nuclear tests in history. The test involved the detonation of a thermonuclear device, commonly known as a hydrogen bomb. Castle Bravo achieved the highest yield among the tests conducted during Operation Castle and remains the highest yield nuclear weapon test ever conducted in the atmosphere by the United States. It had a yield of 15 megatons of TNT, making it the most powerful artificial explosion at the time and approximately 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. However, the test had unintended consequences, including severe levels of radioactive fallout. The incident raised international concerns about the environmental and humanitarian impact of nuclear testing, contributing to the global push for nuclear arms control and non-proliferation treaties. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.